Hey everyone. Welcome to the happiest hour. A lot of you are at work right now because it's the afternoon, well almost the afternoon. It's 11 o'clock in the morning so I just got off work a few hours ago um, and I'm just relaxing. So um, I'm not sure if any of you are going to jump on but I'm just going to jump into it because I know there's going to be some of you that are watching the replay. Um, so if you saw my picture earlier about the happiest hour, um, I'm actually going to be talking about the Lottie palette and um, how to mix colors. And I'm going to talk about um, mixing lip colors too, which is really fun. So I'm actually trying to see if I can find my, I think I took my lipstick out, but I have a different one down here. So um, the color I'm actually wearing, I didn't blend very well, sorry. I was like, I actually falling asleep when I was, <laughs> I was trying to play with this earlier. So um, the color that I am wearing is actually technically in this palette. Hey, so um, one of my friends has this palette too, and she she adores this. I was really scared to buy this one. Um, I still have, I still haven't tried the orange or the green yet. So, but guess what? This blue, this blue helped provide this color. Okay, so um, I've been mixing these colors. If you are if you watched enough Barney like I did as a kid, which sounds really silly, but if you, if you watched Barney or if you were really good with the color wheel, you know that if you mix a couple colors, you're gonna actually be able to make a new color. The awesome thing with having professional uh, makeup that is highly pigmented is you can create your own color. So um, my take on the color that I'm wearing, it's a purple and I'm wearing the gold too. So this is more of a, um, a gold color right here and I really love this color and then um, I usually wear these two right here the two pinks I go between them and I've actually had pictures with them on I wish I could, wish I would have paid more attention when I was blending <laughs> I did okay but <laughs> I'm so tired right now um, so playing with the color wheel um, and playing with mixing colors is really fun when you have really good high pigmented colors um, so what I'll show you here like I look like a mess today. I'm gonna put my hair up really quick. Um, is uh, yes, I love Barney. I literally like I know a lot of Barney songs. It sounds really funny too when I think about it. Um, and I also I grew up with uh, Lamb Chop, so <laughs> I know some of the Lamb Chop songs too. Um. So as you can tell, I was playing with these colors too to kind of get like different colors. Um, if you've seen The Hunchback of Notre Dame, um, this is kind of my take on it. I didn't blend very well, so let me see if I can blend it out a little better. Um, I'm, watching, I'm watching Disney movies today because it was actually raining earlier when I was at work. And when I got off, I got my hot chocolate because I was brainstorming on what I was going to show you guys because I wanted to play with this and show you about mixing colors but I wasn't sure exactly which route I was gonna go with it. If I was just gonna do the Lottie palette or if I was gonna do it with lip colors. Um, so I grabbed my hot chocolate and I came home and it was so nice and then it's, the sun's just starting to come out and with being on AM shift, it's like your days are so weird because you're you you know you're starting work at midnight and then you get off at eight in the morning. It's just like Ugh. So um, it's very weird having like this kind of schedule and um, I was just on day shift last week. You can tell like I'm still not used to it. <laughs> Like, my eyes are not ready to be awake. So I'm actually going to blend this out a little better. Um, so if you watch The Hunchback in Notre Dame, this actually reminds me of um, the main character, the chick, I, Esmeralda. There we go. Um, that's actually what I was going for. But I kind of fell asleep. Like, I'm actually lucky I woke up. <laughs> because um, right before my live, I actually, uh, I, I woke back up because I posted about it. And I'm watching... I'm watching Disney movies and I'm going, <laughs> stay awake. So, thank you. So, um, you can tell actually that it looks a little more blended now. But um, the lighting's bad, but let me see. See, it looks a little better when it's like, because those shadows don't help me very much. Um, I like the bolder look. If I were to wear uh, eyeliner, it actually probably would be a little better. You'd be able to tell a little more. Um, so anyway, to get this color, I'll go, I'll get to the point here because I, I know you guys are ready to see this cool 
thing that I learned. So I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the color stripes on my arm first so that you can see the colors, what they look like as their naked color. Um, that way you kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about. So um, for this one you use the blue and you're gonna use the red and that's what's gonna give you that purple, that really pretty purple. Um, I haven't tried it with the other pink yet, but the other pink has more um, it's lighter red hues, so it's I, I think it's kind of better just to stick with this one here So I'm gonna do those color stripes on my arm. This is this color. I love using this one with the gold It's my favorite when I, I go out usually I do those two colors So that's that red right and then you take your blue so there's the blue and These are the two colors that I'm gonna use to make that purple. Okay, so you see, like, by themselves, they're freaking gorgeous colors. And that's them, you know, by themselves. Um, so what you would do, see, I made it here already. So you already know this is going to be, like, a freaking gorgeous color. Um, so I'm going to put it next to these, so you can, or below it, so you can kind of tell. Sorry, I don't have a wide-angle camera. <laughs> um, let me just back it up here. That's a little better. Um... So I'm taking that red, okay, and I'm just going to swipe it under my arm here. And um, this is actually when I, oh, oh, sorry guys. So what I'm doing is I'm actually, I'm going to create the color on my arm, which is what I did to my hand, and I used it off my hand instead of layering it because this way I'm getting like a steady, consistent color. So it was that red, and then I'm going to take that blue, okay, and you're just going to do little baby circles and when you're blending them because I'm further away when you're further away on the brush you're getting a blender better blending effect you get that color that you want and I can pick this color right off my arm and put it right on my eyes but see these that's this is the two colors the blue and the red and it made that gorgeous purple and that's the color that I'm wearing oh my gosh I am so bad right now with my phone sorry <laughs> So that's what I got is that gorgeous purple just from those two colors. So, and this is this is done. You can do this with any um, highly pigmented um, eyeshadow. It doesn't have to be specifically this palette. You can do it with anyone. The um, the eyeshadows I can't remember. I think they're fifty percent. Um, yeah, sleep deprivation is no no joke right now. That's what I'm dying with right now. <laughs> so, um, but with any high pigmented. Um, high pigmented any makeup really you're gonna get better um, colors and stronger colors so um, I actually wanted to show you this gold that I was talking about here I love this gold so much so this is what I'm actually wearing like in the center here like I said if I had eyeliner on it would be a different story but since I'm gonna be going to sleep in like an hour I'm not gonna put any eyeshadow on or eyeliner on um, so if you wanted to like put those that purple with that gold that's that gold next to the red. Sorry, I'm going over the wrong direction. Um, a lot of people are very scared of this palette because it is bright colors. It really honestly is like, I was kind of scared of it too, but then when I finally was like, you know what, forget it. You know, I'm gonna be bold. I'm gonna try something different. And I did, and I friggin' love it. Um, people have used these as eyeliners too. So what you would do is you'd take a liner brush, a liner shader, so you take that color, um, the, um, I'm trying to think, my brain is like seriously so bad. Um, you would use the setting spray and you can use this side of it to make any of these into an eyeliner, which is great because if you're like, let's say you're going to an 80s party and you're like, oh my God, I don't know what I'm going to wear. Like, I remember that my mom always says in the 80s, she used to wear like crazy colored eyeliner too, like blue and green and like any really like bright color you can think of. So you can use any of these as an eyeliner too. Um, you just take this, let's, let's pretend like this is wet here. So this blue is actually really pretty. I haven't used it other than in this purple yet, but I will get there you can make this into the eyeliner. See, and it's very precise, and it's still like a great color, and that's without having the setting spray, because obviously like that, that's gonna be, that's gonna stay pretty well, but you're still gonna wanna add, um, or you can use rose water, rose water works great too. I do rose water when I wanna do my brows with like a brown eyeshadow, and that, that lasts just as long as like a setting spray would. 
but um, with Lipsa, and look how cute this packaging is. These are actually, this is the last um, out of the Lottie set that we carry is this palette. And we're getting a new makeup artist that's going to be joining us to make like some special edition stuff, which is super exciting because I never really, I, I wasn't really big on makeup until a few years ago. And this is like, this is really awesome because I'm sure that if somebody hadn't told me like, you should just try it. It's really great. I probably would have just been like, ah, you know, I'll never wear any of those colors. And believe it or not, this is actually out of all my eyeshadows. I actually wear this palette more than anything. And the cool thing is, is these are magnetic too. So if I was going out like on vacation or something, let me see if I have something I can poke this out with. Um, if I was going on vacation and I just wanted to bring a couple of my favorite colors from here and a couple of my favorite colors that I've bought, just the, the ones by themselves. Oh, I don't think that's long enough. Well, anyway, these are magnetic. So you can pop these out and um, when you pop these out, you can put them into another palette. So, and like, um, there's like an 18, 18 set kit that you can put them in, which is really awesome. Yeah, I love that they're magnetic too. It's really neat. It's, it's like the Z palette. Um, that's actually kind of where the idea came from. Um, because Alcone has been around for, you know, friggin' ever. They had said, you know, let's make it this way because we think that people are going to use it more often. Because, I mean, it's true. I mean, if you're, it, like, with my other eyeshadows, I bought all the colors that I wanted. Like, I'm, I still don't have six of the colors out of every single color we have at the moment. But they're, like, the darker colors that are kind of ob obscure to me. Like, obviously, I don't really need a, a black because I don't really do much of, um, I like doing the, uh, smoky eye but I like doing it with a dark brown because I have bright green eyes so for me it just makes more sense it is it's very convenient and you can get one or you can get six or you can get you know um, 18 and or four so I mean it's just really up to you how you want to build your set so with lips blending okay I was wearing this one a little bit ago but it looks a little harsh when I was about to jump on I was like okay I'll take it off um, this is a really really dark purple lipstick because my hair is not done, I'm not wearing eyeliner. It's gonna look really funky if I were to put it on. But this is um, this is like this one that was called. Oh, okay, my brain's gone. Um, this is the darkest one we have. This is my favorite lipstick. If I'm going out, like going out on the town, woohoo! Not very often does that happen, but you know. Um, so this was really pretty with that purple eyeliner that I'm wearing. If I were to wear like some eyeliner with it. It's a really dark purple, but um, the way you can blend it, because not only does this work with eyeshadow, this also works with lipstick, um, because these are actually, they don't feel really heavy on your lips. You can change them. So there's a couple ways you can do it. You can take um, a liquid lipstick and blend it with it. You'd put it over it or under it, or you can take a lip gloss. It changes a little bit of the color, and the lip gloss gives it more of that glossy look. Um, this one's not a matte. This one's actually like, um, this was... Um, this is a pearlescent there. <laughs> it's a pearlescent lipstick. So when you were to put that, I mean it would look it would look different because it's already um kind of shiny. This one is the liquid lipstick and these dry matte. So what you can do, I'm gonna put it next to it so I don't get all the purple all over here. So those two colors, what you can do is you can I'm gonna do it with my finger because I don't wanna um mix everything up with my eyeliners or I mean my eyeshadow brushes. Woo! Um, if you were to blend these colors together, you're going to get a different shade of purple, but it's going to be a little more on the pink side, which I'll show you, or mauve. I think it's, it, to me, it looks more mauve. Um, let's see. So in, in doing this too, you can use like a lip liner, um, or a, uh, not a lip liner, a, a lip brush so that you're not... I mean, they're easy to clean too. And with your finger, you might mess up, like you might go out of the lines of your lips or something. So you saw those two colors and I blended them up and that's what they look like. So it's more of a mauve color. And if I were to keep blending a little more, it would look a little nicer. It's just all about time and whatnot. And then this is like, so when I just have like, so my eyes are a little darker, so I tend to go with more of a nude color. Um, so you can do the same thing with just a, with a lip gloss and a liquid lipstick. Of course, when you do that though, the liquid lipstick is not gonna last as long as they usually would if you were using them by themselves. 
which is basic, that's with every single um, liquid lipstick. It's kind of like a no-no with liquid lipstick, but there is no boundaries to makeup. So I've seen people take some liquid lipstick and use it on their eyes too, because they wanted a certain color. So, you know, no boundaries, run free. Um, so that's the liquid lipstick by itself. This is creme brulee. It's actually, um, it's my go-to color. And this is actually my go-to lip gloss. This one's in my purses. I don't even know if you can tell. It's actually starting to finally like, have like a dent in there and <laughs> I use it all the time. I use it at work because I don't my I don't want my lips to get dry and it's a pretty color so um I'm gonna put it on here and then I'll throw some on my lips so I'm gonna put this next to it again and I'll show you kind of what it looks like. So these colors are similar um because they are kind of like on the nude spectrum but see like the creme brulee is a little more pink than the this is faith faith lip gloss. Um, but you can do the same thing, like if you were to put this over it, I'm just going to rub it that way so you can see it over it. It gives it a little more of a, I don't really know how to explain the color on that one. Um, it's just, it's a different, basically like almost like a nude pink. Let's see. So you're getting different colors, so it's okay. Hello. Uh, it's okay to play with color and it's okay to like mix things. Um, I'll try one other set of colors here and I haven't tried these together. I'm going to try these two. So this is a different pink because this is a pink that I made to use that to make that purple earlier. So this might, might give us a different color of purple, um, which we'll see. Oh, the cool thing about it, look at this little lip gloss. Oh, you can see like my, ah, you guys see your reflection. Um, this lip gloss has a little mirror on it. So you can throw it in your purse and be like, yeah. But see, look at that lip gloss. It's just a little bit of a color. It adds just a tiny tint, which is cool because when I go to work, I feel funny if I'm putting on lipstick because everybody kind of looks at me like I'm kind of crazy because I really like wearing makeup now. I didn't before, but I really do now. So when I go in with a ton of makeup, people just look at me like, what is she doing? <laughs> Especially because my job is like, depending on what I'm on, I it's it's generally, it's it's a lot of work. <laughs> It's physical and I'm like sweating, but my face still stays. So, so this is that blue again. I freaking love this blue. I really got. I'm gonna have to get brave on this one. So, wish me luck, guys. Maybe I'll maybe I'll <laughs> practice with that, and then we'll I'll do a video with it. All right. So I'm gonna do it with this pink now, and I'm just gonna blend it. Oh wow. Okay. I don't know why I didn't try this one. This one's pretty. I need to add a little more blue, though. So, this kind of came out, like, kind of cool. Uh, just give me a second to blend this out here. That is those two colors. So, that's that, some, like, lighter pink and that blue. So, that's that darker purple, uh, red and blue. So, you get kind of a different... It's It's cool. This one's kind of... I don't know, this one's like I, periwinkle. Um, that's the closest I can think of for colors, color wise. Um, but it's cool, like you just blend colors, like try something different. I'm, I'm gonna look silly. <laughs> it's like, um, colors, I do this every time I go out too. I go out to makeup stores and I'm like trying everything on my arms and I go home and I look like a very colorful tiger. <laughs> so, um, but I just thought it would be cool to, you know, since I, I, ooh, sorry, since I missed the last couple of weeks of our um, happiest hours on Mondays because my schedule's been so weird and I've been dealing with all sorts of family stuff. So I thought, you know, it's time to get back on so we can all hang out and um, chat about anything. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, for those of you that live closer to me, I do have my open house on on Saturday, I think that's the 5th, um, I'm gonna be doing mini makeovers and facials. So that'll be with that new mud mask that I post yesterday. Um, and that's gonna be really fun. It's actually, sorry, clay mask. It has tea tree oil and um, a bunch of stuff that just purifies your skin. And actually, um, because my skin's like, my skin is so touchy, it just, it doesn't, it doesn't always love it when I decide to do something crazy. So. 
my skin goes pure like that. Like same with um, anytime I use stuff that's like purifying or anything like that, my body just like, it goes, what, what are you doing to me? So <laughs> I actually literally like these are from just yesterday from doing that mask. But what it does is it pulls all those toxins out and actually my hair, my skin will be healed within like a day or two only because that face wash and the, um, and the calm balm that I use, the facial lotion, it's gotten rid of like everything that I've had problems with because I used to get little tiny bumps up here from uh, the foundation I was using before because it had a little too much oil in it and the face wash I was using wasn't the right one for my skin type and now it's like perfect and then it's like it's slowly cleared everything out of here this is just my skin was literally like what the hell man why are you clear trying to clear me out so fast so um, which is silly but um, yeah I, that's that's what I have for you guys today I am going to go munch on a little something before it's bedtime. Um, you know, it's one of those days. I, I go to sleep in just a few hours here. Um, but it's nice and cool enough to wear my new sweater. Look at that. Even though it's, you know, still July in California. <laughs> What's up? So, um, well, I love you all. Thank you for joining me. I, if you have any questions on what I talked about, the different techniques and whatever, um, I can, I can also soon, I can try to figure out, I, I don't have all of the brushes yet, but I can teach you little tips and tricks that I learned about blending the right way and, um, with mascara and stuff like that. Uh, so love you all. I will see you soon. Bye. And if, if those of you who are joining for the replay, thank you for joining in.